How's it going everybody? So, I have had a few requests for this and I have seen a lot of videos on the old interwebs about overclocking the new RTX 3080. Um, there are some weird quirks that I found with this card over the two, two or three weeks that I've had it. Um, when it comes to overclocking, voltages and frequencies are always fighting each other and causing crashes. Um, even at stock settings, the voltages and the frequency were constantly up and down and it was driving me insane. So what I actually did to combat this is I came into MSI Afterburner. I started with checking all of this, selecting third party because I have a Zotec Gaming 3080 Trinity OC. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit apply. Yes, yes, that's fine, that's fine. It'll restart. And then this is where you get into the overclocking of the actual card. So I'm not gonna go through it because I've already done it. So I'll, I'll just show you my profile and basically explain to you what I did. So that's my gaming profile. You can see that when I click that, it jumped up to 2100 megahertz and it's running at 1.6 millivolts right now. Or, yeah, I guess that's 1.6 millivolts. Anyway, um, so the, how I achieved this and essentially what it does for the card and gaming is when I start the computer, it loads up this right here. That stock configuration, that's the way you get it out of the box. You put it in your, in your computer and that's the way it runs. Okay. So when I start up my computer and I'm just using it for day-to-day -day tasks, I leave this alone. I don't even screw around with MSI Afterburner. Um, However, when I go to load up a game, say I wanted to play like Ark or something like that, I'll load up Ark, or sorry, I'll load up MSI Afterburner, I'll apply my profile, hit OK, load up Ark, and away I go. Now, the reason I do that is because I, I can only assume that it's not good for your card to run 24-7 full throttle like this. Um, so to save prematurely killing a fucking like $1,800 graphics card, I... Um, I just, I just run it at stock when I'm not gaming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, to achieve this, well, all I had to do was I set all my core voltages, power limits, and all that bullshit up. Um, overclock the memory, set a custom fan curve to keep it cool because these cards do run hot. Uh, you go into the, into the curve editor. Now, what I did is I went to the one millivolt, I think it was. Yep, the one millivolt, I brought it up to 2085 okay so now when it goes like essentially when you're gaming when it hits the frequency 2085 it calls for that frequency that's the voltage it'll be running at right so what I did is I brought it at 1.6 volts I brought it up to 2100 and then I held shift and hit okay so what that does is it'll bring the line straight across so that means 2100 megahertz is the max boost clock for this graphics card now and um to combat the frequency bouncing and the voltage bouncing around and causing crashes and stuff what i did is i went over to here to the 1075 mark on the voltage scale i clicked on them clicked on the thing here or the node hit l and then hit apply Essentially what that did is it locked my card at 1075 for the voltage and it allowed it to run at its 2100 megahertz boost clock consistently. It didn't drop, it didn't go up and down, it, just, it stayed there. Overall giving a better playing experience because your frame rate's not all over the place for the most part. It's, it's pretty standard across the board. So that is how you do how, how you voltage lock a graphics card. You can do this with any graphics card. It's just I've never actually had to. Um, this is the first graphics card that I've ever had to volt, have to voltage lock to get it running consistently without crashing. Um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit of my memory overclocking just because I have seen a lot of people messing with this and not, I don't think they understand what this does. Okay. So it's safe on any 30 series card to put this at say 500, hit apply. It'll run no problem. Now. I've seen a lot of people being like, yeah, crank it to a thousand, hit apply, it's good to go. That 
in theory is right and wrong. Whereas with the older style graphics cards, like I just came from a 1080 Ti, so I'm gonna use that as an example. Um, with the memory on that, you could get up to about three, 400 megahertz, like above what it is. So like plus 300 say, and it would run okay. But if you tried to push it any farther, you'd start to see artifacting and games would start acting up and glitching out, screens would freeze. Whereas on the RTX 3080, that doesn't happen because it's got a different style of memory module. What it actually does is it tries to correct the error without like freezing the game or artifacting or anything like that. It's like, it's like some kind of self-correcting thing that it pulls. I don't, I don't actually know what it is, but um, anyway, yeah, it, try, it tries to correct the error without freezing your game. And essentially what it'll do to do that is drops frame rate. So essentially, if you crank this to plus a thousand, you could essentially be cutting your frame rate by as much as 20 to 25 FPS. It all depends on, um, it all depends on what you're doing. So now actually something else to note, I also noticed with this card, I have a 4K monitor and a 1440p monitor. Now on the 4K, when I did this, for some reason, when the graphics card was being 80% utilized or more, it would actually run around here, like lower, lower clock speeds. I, do, I don't know why it does that, but at 1440p, 144 hertz, it'll bounce up to here and that's where it'll stay. It'll stay at 21 megahertz in every game I play. Um, no crashing, nothing. But like I said, in 4K, it just, it doesn't do that for some reason. I don't know why. I'll have to maybe look into that and I'll let you guys know why it does that because it's very odd. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, that, that about wraps that up. I should explain it a little bit for you. Um, if I missed anything or if you think I'm wrong about something, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, if you guys want to see maybe like processor overclocking or any kind of anything, anything to do with computers, basically, I can pretty much help you out on it. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to start live streaming here soon, too, so that's going to be fun. Uh, we're getting better internet tomorrow. We're supposed to be getting 50 down and 15 up, so that should be enough to support streaming. Right now we're on Bell with 10 down, 10 up, and it's we rarely ever get that speed, but that's Bell for you. Soak the people for everything they're worth. Anyway, that'll about do it for this video. Like I said, if you guys liked it, like, subscribe, hit me up with a comment if you want to know more about something, and yeah. Have a good one. Stay safe.